Hello everybody, welcome to Call of Duty Part 12, which I hopefully will anticipate to be the last in this series, because this game is more of a rage game than anything else at this point, so anyway. Not sure what we're doing, we're playing as the Russians again. Yeah, I could tell by these names. Oh, it's a tank behind us, I wonder why we're making that noise, okay. What's the hold up, gentlemen? Oh, crap. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize you were friendly. <laughs> Damn, I gotta keep my eyes out for my friendly soldiers. Anyway, um... Okay, now what? Hmm. I'm just keep an eye on my sniper bullets. We need to get those flak guns to get our tanks through! Roger that. So many places a sniper could be, I don't like this. Can you guys take point? Well, they're actually listening for once. Take cover! Blow this gun up and let's get the next one! Oh crap, I hear a turret. I was ducked. That is bullshit. Uh, yeah, it's prime example of the game being bullshit, guys. I was ducked behind cover and they killed me. I don't know, you sure what the fuck killed me at that point, but whatever. Not sure if he's down or not, but we're gonna advance regardless. We need to get those flak guns <clears throat> to get our tanks through! Well, I don't see anybody else from this angle. Still no shot. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I know there's a gun there, but I can't really advance at this angle. Shit. Where's that tur- oh shit. How can he hit with such accuracy with a bullet spray gun like that? It's such bullshit. Alright, I guess we're moving. Blow this gun up and let's get the next one! Crap! Falls out of the line of fire! Give me a fucking break him. This should be the last mission, for fuck's sake. No retreat. I, I can't beat it. I'm already running into trouble already. Sure, we're shooting at whatever. We need to get those flak guns to get <clears> our <throat> tanks through. I'm not sure if he's still back there or not. Come, in. Come, in. Come on, why can't I move? Thank you. All right, same deal as before. Take out the. Come on, I was about to shoot you when you move. Really? Stay down. I need to be super careful over here. That's not being super careful, man. I don't give a fuck about that game right now. Stop. Now, who else is still standing?
Yeah, he draw the fire around here. Blow this gun up and let's get the next one! Oh crap, that's a tank. How am I gonna get across from there? Keep moving, comrades! To the next gun! Yeah, I can't get through that tank. What the fuck do they expect me to do here? I don't see a Panther Shrek anymore. They recently just run across? Are you fucking serious? I'm gonna die. Or not. Now I gotta put explosives on the tank? Okay. There's a button a bit easier than I thought it would, for, for once. Okay. Another gun, take this one out. Are these tanks gonna do anything or just sit there? Okay, now we're going over here, I'm assuming. Oh, good, the checkpoint. How gracious of you, game. Don't like this. Plenty of opportunities for people to shoot at us. Now what? Store in the Ah, crap all. Hang on! Hold the line, comrade! Until our tanks get through! Yeah, this is suicide right now, dude. God damn it, that's a lot of bullets flying our direction. So where are our tanks again? Before we do that, can I get that health that was back here? Thank you. Doing the best I can. What the hell was that noise? It sounded very odd. Okay, so we're advancing now, good. Um, yeah, I'll just follow these guys. That work. Hmm. Any reason we stopped moving? Hmm. I guess these guys are just gonna shell the shit out of that building. It'll be fine by me. Shit. 
This has to go up. But what's over here? Stay low. Come on, comrades. Up to the rooftop. Damn, I don't like this. Out. Get down. Crap. Hmm. Oh, you guys staying there? You could shoot a bit more. Just saying. Are you patriotic music they have playing? Anyway, I'm not sure where we're going. Um, this way. Crap, he was standing right there. How did I fucking see him? But there's nobody there. God Come damn it. Yeah, this has to be the last mission. I'm still running into problems. I just can't not catch a break in this game. Not one single fucking break. Doesn't help this game's environment so dark you can't see shit anyway. Okay. I'll be ready for you this time, asshole. Okay, I didn't see the second guy though. Or that person. Okay, you guys are going out there, not me. <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely the last mission. I remember they said something about raising a flag in the last mission. What the fuck hit me? What the fuck hit me? God damn this game, seriously. Come on, comrades! Up to the rooftop! Go! Watch out! Get down! Alright, just take it easy, nice and slow. We advance finally, thank you. Alright, can you guys go out first, please? I'd very much appreciate it. Up top, right? Yep, up top. Okay, I can do this, guys. It's just going to take a bit of perseverance. Okay, I'm just so afraid to move forward because you can't see where these fuckers are going to be around. Okay, okay. We're on the roof. Good. It says to go this way, I think. Oh Hurry, god. Comrade. Berlin is ours. Okay, there's a Soviet flag, now what? 
Oh, that's it. <laughs> Goody. Probably should have thrown this in with the last mission when they come to think about it. Mother, a few days ago, we waved the flag of the motherland over the top of the right. Yes. The war, at last, seems to be coming to an end. There is very little fighting left in the enemy. Soon I will be returning to our home. There are German prisoners of war everywhere. Today, I crossed the Elbe River in Germany and shook hands with an American soldier. Although I could not understand anything he said, I felt this man was my brother. <clears throat> and I think he felt the same. Oh my god, that was one hell of an experience, guys. I must say. We had 16 minutes, damn. I wish I'd thrown this in with the last video again. I thought I'd run into so many problems, that's why I didn't do that that way, guys. Shit. Damn, I already posted part 11. I'm gonna have to post a very short video now. Great. Oh, great, just great. I don't know, I could take part 11 down and just combine it, but uh, shit, I don't know. Oh, yes, credits, of course, credits. Well, we can watch the credits at least, guys, in case you want to see that for some odd reason, I don't know. <laughs> this is the first mission, right, where we parachute it in? Yeah, I really didn't think the mission would be this short or this not as complicated, guys. That's why I didn't combine this with the last part. So, again, my apologies for not thinking outside the box. <laughs> so, let's try and figure out this a discussion topic while we're watching these credits, shall we? Yeah, as far as this game goes, I'm not a huge fan of it. I mean, again, the only reason I really finished, finished playing it was because I started it as a series. I want... Excuse me, I don't like to... Ab be a person that starts something and then abandons it, because that's really not my style to do that. I've seen herb Let's players on YouTube like start series and then not finish them. I don't want to be one of those people. If I start something, I want to finish it in full. And that's the way I'm gonna be. Cause that's why I, that's the way I commit myself to certain things, guys. So even though this was more of a rage game than anything else, than like a fun thing, it, it has moments, guys, for what's worth. It's still a COD game. I played through it, I got through it, and I don't say I regret playing it, but whatever. I mean, I did it, so that's all there is to say. Kind of an interesting scene, credit scene, we see this guy running through the German lines. Alright, because I know I played Cuphead. Cuphead is more of a definition of a rage game, yet that felt fair all the time. This game just did not feel fair with the way it just pops up enemies randomly and the way you take damage. It's just really not fair at all. Okay, this guy's sneaking up on mortars. So even though I did have difficulty playing this game, and I don't, again, I wouldn't say use the word regret that I played it, it's just I'm glad that it's over more than anything else. Because this was quite an ordeal to play through this on the... Cause they, when the reviews came in for this game, I, they said it did not stick well with the times, and I agree with that statement fully. It does not stand well with times like our shooters have. It just doesn't. No, but either way, what's done is done, guys. It's done deal, and we gotta look forward to the future. So let's just see what I can talk about regarding future projects. Right now, I'm still working on Killzone. I have like two more stages in that, then that'll be done. 
Then there's uh, Chrono Trigger, which might take a bit longer because it's an RPG. What else? Oh yeah, well, I also started Detroit Become Human. I just did two videos of that. That's coming along quite nicely. And also, I don't watch you think just because I'm playing a bunch of older games that I'm just that I only like older games. It's more that I just have these older games and I want to play them before they get a bit too outdated, you know? I do like new games, guys. Don't get me wrong. I like new games all the, all the time. It's just that my budget situation has changed a bit. And I can't just be buying brand new AAA titles constantly. I mean, I have a lot of family members. We, like, we all have family, but some of my immediate family members, they're not doing too well financially. I just can't... I have to s support them in certain ways. I, and that involves not spending all my money on games, you know? And yes... Uh, I did say I went back to work. I have to take back that statement now. I had to leave work again. It was just too much stress, guys. I couldn't take being stressed up and working like that anymore. So I quit my job again, and now I'm unemployed, and which gives me all the time in the world to work on videos. So I'm going to try and balance it out a bit more. Maybe like two retro titles, two newer titles if I can. I'm not sure. Because again, I've received such little feedback because I'm such a small channel, it's hard to tell what you guys really want me to play. In fact, most of you I imagine don't even watch to the end of a whole video because my view duration is like very small at this point. But either way, I do hope to make it bigger, maybe not as big as some of the millions of you subs, people who subs to other YouTubers. But I would like to have a decent following on YouTube. And the only way I can do that is by getting with your support. I can't do this on my own. I need people to subscribe to me, people to like me, people to comment. And, and I'm doing this for more than a year and a half now, guys. It really hasn't gone over too well, to be frank. I mean, yes, I did start over three times, technically. I'm learning from my mistakes, though. I'm trying to learn from my mistakes. I really want this to be a, like a thing I can depend on. Not even from a financial or fame standpoint, but just to, you know, have a fun hobby that might be rewarding in some ways, you know? I have struggled with a lot of issues in my life, and I want this to be something that finally works. Alright, so, I'm also trying to figure out how many games I should be playing at any given point, too. I haven't figured that out either yet. First, I thought maybe three, four, five, or ten. I just don't know. The way I see it, I should play like anywhere from 4 to 10 series at any given point, depending on how much I can't, my attention span remains, you know? But if I play too many, then I lose track of the games I'm playing. If I play too little, then I might not be appealing to you guys with the games I'm currently playing. So, real Catch-22 situation there. We're going to skip fast-forward through this, or just... All right. We just got to wait for the credits, guys. Once the credits are done, then I'll probably wrap up. So yeah, do, talking in this manner allows me to not have to do another vlog post. So yeah, not that I don't enjoy the vlogs, but you know what I'm saying, right? Just save some time, considering I finished so early with this video. I didn't mean to finish early again. And yeah, the music's fading. Hmm. Right, so I have to figure out what to play next. Like I said, I'm playing an RPG, a first-person shooter, and a decision-making game. I gotta figure out what else I could fit in there. Alright. I mean, special thanks. Special thanks is usually the last thing you see in the credits, guys. So, my, I own plenty of COD games, many of which I have not played the campaign, so I'm eager to see how that goes. If you guys want to see that, I don't know if you guys really want to see that or not, because some people think playing the campaign in the multiplayer game is sort of, like, over-saturated. I don't think so. By the way, I've looked up original Call of Duty campaigns. Very few people have played them on YouTube, as far as I could tell, so I... I don't know, I'm just hoping I could stand out a bit more, because I do find my videos tend to not appear in most search results. Because I have TubeBuddy installed on Chrome, which I used to browse with. It tells me where I rank and with certain search terms, which I put in my tags. Hardly any of my videos actually rank in search terms, guys. It's very unfortunate. In fact, I have so few views, it's 
it's discouraging, you know? I put a lot of effort into making these videos, take a lot of time, a lot of money buying them, but I don't think I have anything else to do, really, because I'm unemployed, like I said. I'm not making any money. Of, if you're fully aware of how monetization works on YouTube, I haven't made a single cent off making these videos by doing them for a year and a half now. Because <laughs> I need a thousand subs and 4,000 hours of watch time to monetize, guys. To begin to monetize, even. Or be approved for monetization. And I'm nowhere near that. Right now, I keep losing subs. I lost about three subs the past three weeks. So right now, I'm hovering at 57 subs and nowhere near that watch time I need. I'm probably not even at one-fourth of that watch time I need to be at. Don't take this wrong as me just ranting or anything. I, I appreciate the support I have been given, for what it's worth. I just have to keep trying, because... One person said that on the Let's Play, Let's, uh, Let's Play subreddit that like 1% of people nowadays reach monetization. I don't know if that's true or not. Less than 1%? This seems like a far-fetched figure, if you ask me. Because I've seen plenty of channels, fresh off the bat, that... Working in gaming, they've been doing this less time than me, less quality videos, less amount of videos, and they have tens of thousands of subs. Like, what the fuck? Well, why are they succeeding while I'm not? And I, I, I ask myself that every day. I just don't have an answer at this point. I try my best, guys. I, I know I'm not the best person who, who makes these videos compared to other people, especially the bigger YouTubers. But I do try hard every time. Excuse me. I'm just going through a lot of issues right now, you know. I'm not always a happy, cheerful person, as you can probably tell. Especially if you watch me play rage games like this. And Cuphead. I try to keep my spirits up, guys, for the sake of my family. Because, as you know, I probably have struggled with suicide in the past. And I still struggle with suicidal tendencies. And, you know, doing this makes me feel a bit better about myself, that I'm contributing to the community, or the life in general, or someone's life in general. And that's pretty much all I have to say in the matter. Alright, so I think that's pretty much a wrap on this game anyway. I'm not playing it anymore, for, for fuck's sake. I'm not going to try their difficulty, or try walk unlock anything else, because it's pretty much a done deal. Like I said, I did, I did have some fun moments in this game, but overall it's more of an ordeal playing it, because the terrible design in it. Alright, we're at 27, more than 27 and a half minutes. I feel like I just wrap up here. So yeah, stay tuned for more games, guys. I'm going to be playing a lot more stuff we, now that I'm done with that stupid uh, maintenance behind the scenes work I've been working on. That pretty much is pretty much done. I'm not working on my thumbnails ever again, hopefully, because I think that my thumbnails are decent enough with the cropping system I came up with. And yeah, more games are coming. I'm probably going to spend a lot more time filming now that I'm done with those godforsaken updates. And yeah... I don't know how I can't guarantee I can upload every day, but I'm gonna try my best to try and film as much as I can now. Some people say you shouldn't update as much as I do when it comes to posting the videos, but I don't have that much of a following yet. So I, the way I figure, the more videos I post, the more chance I get of getting a following. Right? That makes more sense to me. Whereas someone else with millions of subs want to post two videos a day, and so certainly they oversaturate their count. No cows were harmed in the making of this game. Okay, that's a kind of like point was to put in there. I get an achievement for saying for those credits. That'd be nice. No, no achievement. Okay. Well, that's a wrap, guys. Like I said, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, subscribe as well, and I'll see you next time. Take care.